Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum has not yet broken above the recent highs Bitcoin has. So Bitcoin continues to take the lead and it continues to outperform Bitcoin. So while I still think Ether is going to outperform Bitcoin at some point, we haven't seen, also not yet seen that change on the ETH BTC chart. So Bitcoin continues to take the lead. Um, and it, yeah, it, it still has the lead. And... Um, question is now is ETH going to follow Bitcoin and try the breakout so we're going to talk about that Bitcoin obviously um, possibly on the way to 50k I talked about that in the previous video but this wave count remains very prone to changes there's certainly some hidden some hidden landmines there across the across the board I can tell you that be careful out there we talked only we talked in the last few days about repeatedly about upcoming volatility and unpredictable volatility for this week. So um, what I do, you know, I bought some positions and I will take profits opportunistically as the market makes profits available. Um, not for ETH, by the way, but um, ETH is looking good as well. So let's see. The, the low could obviously be in. We talked about that, but we first need to see a break above 2,445. Basically this swing high that formed on the 28th of December to be clearly in favor of it. But again, you know, we've had it, we had this pattern and we still have this pattern of um, breaking counts. So again, remember also this was not a great bottoming structure. So, and there I was extremely careful and, and, you know, didn't really trust this move up, let's say it like that. And yeah, it failed, okay. This doesn't look that bad anymore. Um, so as I said, you know, the low could be in here. I wouldn't be opposed to it. But it's still not ideal because the last low didn't go below the previous one and it would be an extremely shallow wave two. The fact that wave twos normally scare people, it, it just doesn't look scary, okay? Just It just looks boring. So I'm still thinking we could, but look at this, look at this beast. I mean, this is just absolutely ugly. I mean, this is a complete mess. So com complex, complex, complex. But yeah, the low could be in. What needs to happen? finally to confirm that we still need five waves up three waves down that breakdown here that we had is just a great example of why i always say we need to see five up three down this was a three wave move up only didn't follow through in five waves so also here one two okay but only three waves in wave one so it has to be a diagonal that makes it difficult it just means we need to be on the side of caution so the third wave should reach minimally 2,379, but better would be 2,405, um, possibly 2,448. I mean, there isn't really a limit, okay, but minimally 2,379, it seems to reach that. Better would be, though, the 1.38 extension, okay? Then I would trust the third wave more. Um, I can see it possibly extend a little higher, but bear in mind there is going to be strong resistance in this region here around those previous highs. And those Fibonacci levels will also act possibly as resistance. Um, then we need to hold the wave 4 support, which is going to be the golden ratio. So obviously also this third wave should be an ABC structure. So I cannot, you know, I cannot rule out that this is going to form an extended ABC and the third eventually pushes higher. We'll see at the moment it's already moved enough to say that this... Um, I just want to add the 100% extension... Yeah, so this um, this could be all of wave three that's currently forming here. Okay, so as I said, I gave you the key targets. And as long as the fourth wave support is holding, which is the golden ratio level, which will change along the way, but at the moment it's 2,235, I'd be uh, watching for higher prices now in the yellow count while being extremely careful and cautious. And, you know, this is the level when it would start to break, basically, okay? So it continues to be a huge sideways range. So we haven't got a breakout here. Yes, we've got a, a few green candles. We did have that here as well. And even a break above recent highs could just be another high B wave unless it forms five waves. So if it continues to go in a straight line, it could still be a third wave or an ABC pattern, okay? So it really needs to give us the five waves. And then the following three wave pullback would then also be the confirmation that a low was already established and... Um, with that five up, three down move, the market would also hold ideally a higher low. And that would be the next jump off point for higher. Remember that, as I said, if the if the wave two is over here or here, 
a third wave rally should take us to $3,000 and beyond. Yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.